With NX2412, we've simplified the process of bringing uh, user-defined features forward into feature templates and for updating deformable component definitions from the, the older style to the new template studio author style. And, uh, and, and it's illustrated very simply here in this picture. We'll do an example as well. But, but for, for feature templates for, or user-defined features, really, um, we, we had this, we've had this in for a few releases here. It, it's been a little bit buried in the menus, right? So to do this, you needed to, to know that it was down inside tools and parts and features and feature template. And, and, and if there was a user defined feature definition in the part, then you could come down and do this convert user defined feature, uh, definition. Um, and, and, you know, it works wonderfully. It, it, it's, it's great. It, it was just a little hidden in the menus. <laughs> so, so what we've done is, is again, if you're in a part that has a, a user defined feature definition, again, this is not an instance of a, of a user defined feature, but, but the, the part in which that user defined feature is defined, um, that definition, we can MB3 or, or right click on that and get this user defined feature, uh, definition option here. That'll, that'll migrate that for us very quickly. Uh, very similar thing for for uh, deformable components as well. So let's uh, let's take a look at those. Um, as we're inside NX, here we go. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, this is a little bit old. 2212 is where we introduced that migration here. Actually, two years ago. Um, this particular part down here, you'll notice in the reuse library, is a UDF. This is the feature template version of that 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 is saved. But we're going to look at this original UDF one here. So if we grab this guy and open it here. This is, again, the, the part that contains that definition of the UDF, right? Uh, if we double click this to edit it, you'll notice that we get the old user defined wizard uh, UI there. Um, and we're going to bring this one forward. Um, again, we, we could do it through the menu, right? The, the deep, uh, let's see, tools, I think it is, and parts and features and down in here, right? Uh, but uh, made that easier. So. Uh, you watch the, the icon right here as well. Right now, this is the UDF icon that has a little kind of person in the front. It's, it's quite small there, I know, but, but uh, this will change here as we, as we do this. Here's this convert user defined feature definition that's just right here on the MB3 menu now. So this is nice and easy to get to. And as soon as we do that, you'll see this icon change to the feature template icon. That's, it's a little simpler one. And, uh, and, and there it's done. <laughs> um, so you'll also get the plus here. You can see the contents of, of that uh, is part of that. And then as we double click to edit this as well, you'll notice that this launches now into the template studio author environment where we can go in and, and start to play with that UI, right? Um, which is coming up on another monitor here. So I'll bring it over. But yeah, here's the new UI for, for this particular one. So we're, again, we're automatically converting that user-defined feature definition into the, the feature template uh, format here as we do that, okay? So very similar to this, uh, I'm gonna go and do the same kind of a thing for a, I'm gonna exit that without saving it, for a deformable component, right? So if we come in here and uh, I'm gonna look in my deformable components and I've got a few of those as well. Yeah, this is it's a couple examples here for updating. So here again, these are deformable components, the spring and the hose. Uh, these go with the this assembly that I'm sure you've seen me do a few times here that, that has some couple of hoses that are different shapes and, and springs that are extended to different lengths on it and, and so forth. Um, as we look at these guys, I'll do the hose here. We can open that. We have here again a, uh, a, a deformable component uh, definition, right? This is the part that contains the original definition of this. And, uh, and that similarly lives at the end of the, the part history here like this and, uh, has that same UDF icon, if you'll notice, right? With the little, the little person on it. And, uh, and these were not editable historically, right? If we tried to, to double click to edit this, we'd get properties, but, but deformable components, we've not historically had the ability to edit that definition. You had to delete it and recreate it. Uh, but as we convert this now, of course, we will be able to uh, to edit that. So here again, uh, we we've had historically the the parts and features to, to, to deform, and it's been down in here, right? And uh, here again, we've added that right to the MB3 menu here, so we can we can convert that deformable part definition. Again, if you watch the icon right here, you'll see that change. Uh, again, we'll we'll get uh, you know the the same kinds of things here. 
Um, so that's the, the new icon. And as we double click this now, you'll notice again, this is going to launch into the template studio environment, uh, author environment. And, and again, we can go in now and, and work with that user interface if we want to. Okay. So again, very straightforward. This is all about that, that MB3 action to go and, uh, and make the change and, uh, hope you find all of that useful.